payphone detail today. Summerfield and Cypress in Ridgewood, where I spotted uh, this beauty. I'm out with my, my payphone friend, the artist who's doing, has grant money to do a, an art pro payphone related art project. But, um, and so I've been helping him scout out locations. We've been working on this for a few months now. Actually, more than a few months. But this one's not useful for what he's doing. But that doesn't mean it's not interesting to both of us. And of course, the payphone radio cards. I've been describing the encounter that I had with the burlesque stripper. And he was very excited about the story because it's in the same spirit as what he's doing, which is randomly connecting people through payphones. My connection with CC was not through a payphone, but it might as well have been. Anyway, just checking in. Summerfield and Cypress in Ridgewood. Well, here's a new find. <laughs> These are the first red, painted red ones I've seen that I can remember. This is 50th Avenue and 90th Street in, what is this anyway? What part of town is this? What part of Queens? It's, it's in Queens, I'm not sure where the hell we are. We were heading somewhere else, so we weren't really paying attention to where we were going or where we were, but 50th Avenue and 90th Street. And the wire remains, but they cut the landline. I think they might have painted it red to match with the awning of this deli that it's outside of. Or maybe somebody just was feeling artistic. And there used to be another one over here too. But that's a great find though, 50th Ave and 90th Street. And I almost forgot. <laughs> almost forgot. <laughs> I'm gonna just take this front plate off. Like Here, I'm trying to be smart about this and just think of like what the best way to do this is. It might really just bring, be bring a ladder and put a, a freaking battery on that roof. Now, if they get pissed off at me about it. <laughs> I'm 
the thing is, there's enough room to put a solar panel. So it's really annoying that the scaffolding is here, because the way I wanted to do it was just to drop my batteries in the thing and put a solar panel up. Get a quick uh, wrench and see if I can't pop that off real quick. Uh, other than that, I'm, I, I, I got what I need. All right. So here's the Baxter Street phone, or Baxter Avenue, is it? I've uh, I've recorded this one before on my own time, but this has had been the centerpiece of his project. But it might not be as perfect as it used to be because it's now surrounded by scaffolding. makes it a much less desirable spot in terms of accessibility. Thing. What do you mean? My, my, my saw real quick. Okay. Probably this doesn't really tell me anything. I need to bring like a full ladder and I need to get up on that roof. It's so perfect. <laughs> it's so perfect. And it's strong. No. It'll get higher, but it's like super annoying that it's not. So I guess I can go inside there and it's like, how long is the scaffolding supposed to be up? And uh, once again, I almost forgot. No payphone is complete without it.
so fucked up. I can't even get my fucking grinder in there. Fuck. Not as easy as you thought. I mean, it's just, it's so rusted out, there's no way to... So this one is going to be spared, for now at least. Or I mean, it's not going to be included in the project, for the moment. But... And if you remember from an earlier video, this is where I had my day after Thanksgiving tryst with <laughs> with a woman that I've known for a long time. If you're keeping track, keeping tabs, keeping score. This is beautiful Queens Boulevard. 